Mic test, mic test. All right, what is up, everyone? Welcome to a very late channel update, but one that is late for a very good reason. Um, you guys know I don't like to take forever in a day to, to explain what's been going on, but um, as far as updates and everything, uh, there's a couple things that happened, uh, including a takedown notice. Um, for one of my uh, Persona 5 videos, uh, which caused me to do something which I'm going to talk about later. Uh, I'm currently playing the Kiva's Beat. Um, I'm receiving Death by Daylight. Uh, not Death by Daylight, but Dead by Daylight, uh, which I'm going to explain what that game seems to be. Because I haven't seen any gameplay of it, but I did read the description on it. And it seems to be a game that's kind of similar to a game that's very popular right now. So I'm going uh, to speak on that. Um, as well as uh, some upcoming uh, ideas and issues that I'm having with um, the channel and this laptop that I currently have. It's, you know, like it's just like a string of problems that I've been having to deal with. And tolerate, but it's honestly time to talk about them. So screw it. Let's just get it out the way. So first things first. Let's get the fun stuff out the way first. Um, as I mentioned before, I am currently playing Akiba's Beat, you know, which is a game that I was I was uh, doing some grinding in. Uh, I had a three part um for the I had three videos for this chapter three. And the last video, for whatever reason, ended up getting uh, ended up getting corrupted. So I have to go back and I have to play the little bit that I have so that I can uh, excuse me. Uh, I have to. Uh, Goes back and I gotta hold on from y'all. I have to go back and I have to um grind and do things um you know I was um I don't know folks came up here me off again. Sorry about that, but uh. Yeah, I've been grinding in the game, and, you know, the, the program that I'm using, this Game Capture HD, and it's not necessarily the program, it's more so my laptop, uh, it's just old. That's the best way to describe it, it's just old. Um, you know, it's not one of those customizable laptops, it's like when it's, it's you know, at its wit's end, it's, it's like one of those, you know, when it dies, it dies. <laughs> It's not one of those major customizable gaming laptops because this isn't even a gaming laptop. God, dude, can people stop calling me? You know, let, let me turn my. Uh, this is really. This, I'm trying to get something out of this, just like people just calling and. It's like the wrong damn time, dude. Leave me alone. Okay, there. Ain't gonna worry about hearing no more of that. Alright. Yeah, this is one of those laptops that when it gets old, it's old, and it's time to get a new one, and I'm doing whatever I can to work towards getting that new one, and a uh, good thing I can pause recordings, but yeah, it's one of those things that just, I can't. Get out of this situation. Like it's one of those that I just need a new laptop. And I'm working towards getting one, and it's just, you know, the ones that I need in order to make the videos efficiently and of the quality that I know that people want. Those laptops cost like over a thousand dollars now, you know, and for me, like it's kind of like an uphill battle trying to save that up. Because it's just, I 
because of everything I have going on, I can't just put that money to the side. You know what I mean? So it's very difficult. So I mean, like, like the GoFundMe, it's still up. Um, I don't have it up. So I can look it up. GoFundMe campaign still alive, and I, I do. I don't even like saying it, but I do need people to, to you know, like to donate more often so that, um, so that I could possibly get the laptop that I need. Let me just put this up. The name of the campaign did change. So let me get this piece from what up. You know, I'm t- kind of tolerating a, a bad laptop right now. And it's, like things aren't getting pulled up as fast as they once did. That's kind of the importance of, you know, like the goal is what, 7,000? Yeah, that's going to help out with several things, not just the, um, I was gonna do all those pop-ups. But yeah, this is this uh, you know, this kind of needs your help. I'm not, I'm not really one to be like the digging type, but you know, campaign is uh is underway, and that's what the money will be going towards getting the equipment that I need. I need a new camera, a new digital camera, because I wanna. Well, I have the PS camera, but I can't connect that to my laptop. Um, and it's risky doing live streams on YouTube, which thankfully I still have um, the live streams on, on YouTube enabled, even with the takedown notice, which is going to end in September, so I'm not really worried about that. I tried to contact Atlas, and I'm, I'm going to talk to that, talk about that in a little bit, but that's going to tie into some other stuff. But, uh, but yeah, it's kind of risky. You don't know if the game that you're playing is going to be like, um, going to be like a game that's going to get like, uh, you know, copyrighted or locked in the country or whatever the case is. Like, you don't know what it's going to be. So, I'm going to, um, try to do what I can on my end, but that's what the campaign is for. I don't want people to feel like I'm one of these people that's going to take the money and do whatever else with it. No, it's to buy a new laptop that I actually absolutely need. And get other equipment that I need so that I can, can increase the quality and the consistency of the videos without having to worry about these mishaps um, that I've been dealing with. Because for the past month or so, it's, it seemed like when I record a video, it's almost as if, like, after like the first few videos I record, then it's like the ones after that get kind of jittery, and then I gotta wait for like a good 10, 20 minutes for that to stop, you know, or loading or whatever it's doing. And then I can start recording again, and then when I try to record, it like, it won't actually record, like, the number will actually just stay on zero. Like, when you hit the record button on this program, like right here at the bottom, you see like the gigabytes and everything. There's a, there's a timer that shows up to show you how long the video is, but sometimes it just stays on zero, you know, and then you have to uh, you know, X out the program, start it up again, or sometimes you might have to open up the settings to the, to the capture card, and 
but then I might have to like slide the, the quality meter back and forth in, in order for it to reset itself. And then I'm gonna have to unplug the USB. You know, it, like it's just a, a very tedious process. And that's all because this laptop can't handle things as well as it should. Uh, so I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm tolerating it until I can get something better, which hopefully is soon. Because I'm just, I'm just trying to. I'm just trying, you know, but, uh, but like, that's just one headache. Let's try to get some of this other stuff out the way. Uh, to try to take my mind off it. Like, like I said earlier, um, playing the key. Right now, I'm, I, was, I was doing some grinding in the game, trying to get my levels up a little bit, and trying to make up for that last video, or, or like the third part, that uh, got kind of corrupted. Another problem with this program is that just like with the whole time situation and me having to reset and reload uh, the recording program, I also have to watch out for like like some type of stream lag. When, like the screen gets jumpy and it starts lagging and, you know, Hopefully you guys never seen any of those videos. I think I did a good job with deleting them before I uh, uploaded them. Because I upload in bulk. Like if I have five videos I just recorded, I upload on five. You know, assuming that there isn't any problem with the videos. So, whatever. But, uh, yeah, but on to the games that I have for this week. First, let me pull this up. You guys see right here, I do have Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, and this is the Game of the Year edition. Now, this is the last day for it, and I did mention in a tweet that uh, PlayStation Network was having a a fifty percent, a seventy to eighty percent off sale uh, of like a lot of games because of like the E3 weekend, and this Game of the Year edition of Shadow of Mordor was only ten dollars. You know, because they have the next one coming up, you know, uh, Shadow of Mordor, of uh, 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 War, excuse me. Um, that's going to be coming, I think, in August. I think in August? No, excuse me, in uh, October. So, we got some months, and I'm going to be actually beginning a playthrough of this uh, soon. So, guys, keep your, keep your eyes open for that when I start that. Um... So that's something I'm looking forward to. That was actually one of the games that, when it was new, I absolutely wanted to play it. But I guess on the, in the, on the bright side, it's also something that, uh, you know, since the new game is coming out soon, um, you know, I could catch up on the storyline and the gameplay and get familiar with it. Also, uh, I pre-ordered the Frozen Wilds for Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, I don't know when that's supposed to drop. I did pre-order it when it was like five bucks cheaper. So instead of paying like a full twenty for it, I paid like fifteen, or was it like thirty? And then I paid fifteen for it because it was like a half off sale. It was something going on, but it was like a sale going on. And I know I paid less than what the full price was. Um, let's pause the recording again. Sorry about that. Um, there's a lot of distractions over here, man, but, uh, I forgot what the hell I was talking about, but, <laughs> um, yeah, Shadow of Mordor, uh, there was a sale going on by PSN, it ends today on the 20th, so, uh, I ended up getting that game for, like, $10, so, most definitely you guys are gonna start seeing a playthrough of that. Um, Dead by Deadlight. Dead by Daylight. Wow. I messed that up so bad. Yeah, Dead by Daylight. Um, this is a game that's supposed to be just based on the description of it. They're trying to make it out. It seems to be somewhat similar to the Friday 13th game, like the Jason Voorhees game. And, 
just the way it's, it's described, it, it's like Dead by Daylight takes a simple idea and presents it beautifully. The asymmetrical multiplayer cast one player as the role of an unstoppable killer and four others as survivors or victims. Killer's job is to murder everyone. The survivors must outwit the killer to escape the level through one or two gates. Killers can choose from a variety of horror that archetypes from the powerful murderer, supernatural. So basically the way they're describing it, it's like Friday the 13th, but you have more options as to what type of killer you want to be. You know? And it seems to be like it's going to be more entertaining than... um. And Friday the 13th. And, you know, this game got a, like a 9 uh, point rating, a 9 out of 10. So, I don't, I don't know what exactly they really plan on doing, but just by the way that they're describing it, like I'm sold. But I always wanted to play the Friday the 13th game, but for whatever reason, I could never find it on PSN. It was like the more I looked for it, I couldn't find it. And, you know, I, um, you know, I was saying, fuck it, and I've seen this. I don't know if, if they're going to have, like, a Jason Voorhees uh, S character in there, but most definitely, you know, you guys are going to be seeing gameplay of, of Dead by Daylight, so really, really looking forward to it. And uh, the, re- the main reason why I got this, this game, yeah, I still got Persona 5. I'm going to send that back. I should have sent that back, like, weeks ago. But it is what it is. Um, I, The main reason why I got it, because... There's nothing coming out for the entire month of July. There's literally nothing coming out unless they announce something recently. Um, yeah, like July is literally a dead month. Well, they got Final Fantasy, the Zodiac Age. I ain't, I ain't worried about that. I don't have the. Like, I feel like that's an expansion, like a standalone uh, DLC or whatever the hell that's supposed to be. I'm, I'm not interested in it. So to me, there's nothing coming out. In July, that I that I would be interested in playing. So that's all that is. Um, but yeah, Dead by Daylight definitely looks like a very promising multiplayer game. Um, he was beat. I'm playing that right now. Pray you guys are going to see more of that, uh, possibly tomorrow. Um, Son of Fire, I got to send that back like ASAP. So. That's uh, that's it as far as the new games go. Now on to um, the situation with the Persona 5 game and Atlas uh, sending a copyright takedown notice of one video, uh, which was the which was part 88, Shadow Shido Boss. Now let me explain this right now. Uh, all of my video game playthroughs, all of them are used within the doctrine of fair use. Now, fair use is a very touchy thing because it's never been hashed out in the court of law. It's just a doctrine within copyright law that doesn't necessarily have to be honored, you know, um, because ultimately if the company doesn't want you to uh, use their content or or their game or they don't want the game to be publicized or whatever, then they legally still have the right to, you know, to do something about it. What, what fair use doctrine is supposed to do is, is that, you know, if you're taking their original content and you're making like a parody or you're using it as a teaching tool, you know, which is basically what playthroughs and walkthroughs are, uh, you're basically showing people how to get around these difficult parts of the game you know, and some people may not be as savvy as others when it comes to certain video games, so you may be able to help them ahead of time, possibly before getting to that point, or during that point in the game where they would have trouble. So they can come to your video and they can get, you know, some tips as to how to get around this boss, or, you know, during this moment in the boss fight, you should do this, or, you know, what team is the best team to go with when going up against this boss, or what the strategy may be, you know, is to give them a heads up because that's what you know a video game culture is you know that community that's what that community is and it's one that I've been a part of since I was a little kid playing the Atari 2600 
you know, playing games like, you know, playing games like Activision's Racing, Activision's Boxing, you know, uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, E.T., whatever was that game was, uh, <laughs> still played it. Um, you know, even like the original Donkey Kong, where you had to climb ladders and jump over barrels and, you know, hit Donkey Kong with a hammer, play the princess, you know, um, you know, even games like Pac-Man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've come a long way. And to see where gamers ended up, you know, being on YouTube, sharing ideas, you know, it is a teaching tool. You know, whether whether or not, you know, the companies want to acknowledge it or not, it's a teaching tool that helps people who may be just now getting into video games, it helps them out. As well as people who may be, you know, not as savvy as they used to be. But teaching tool. So by default it's used within fair doctrine. But the content is always going to be used within fair doctrine. Especially if you're using, you know, commentary. You can't just be quiet these days. Um you know the commentary does make it what's called a transformative work. Basically just making it safe within the doctrine of fair use. But the problem with this game that it took on a very special case because prior to the release of Persona 5, Atlas had, I think they said they had either an announcement on the Atlas website or the announcement on the Persona 5 website. And I did a video on it where they said that you can only play the game up to up until a certain point because they didn't want the game to be spoiled or anything like that. And I made a, a, a video talking about how ridiculous it is. And like sometime after that video, um, and this is before the point, the, the original point that they wanted people not to stream the game pass. Um, they ended up changing it and they extended it. It's like originally we, we didn't want you to, to stream the game past this point. Now we don't want it past this point. And, you know, it, it's stupid. First off, if people are going to play the game, I mean, if you're going to make a game, you have to expect that people are going to stream it. And if you want to play a game, you're going to want people to get the full experience of that game. I can't start a playthrough unless the game is just terrible and just stop, you know, midway because the, the, the company says that we don't want people seeing the game up until this point. Now, mind you, this game was out in Japan for months on end before it got released in the United States. And they already had videos up on YouTube from the players in Japan, which seemed like they didn't really touch those videos. I mean, I didn't check lately, but last time I checked, uh, they didn't touch those videos that were being uploaded from Japan. So it's kind of like a, a country biasness going on, seems like to me. So, But still, it's like... You say that you don't want the game spoiled. Anybody who ever seen the, the footage from Japan, the game was already spoiled. You know what I mean? So technically, the game has already been spoiled. You know, I mean, the whole point of playing a video game was to share the full experience of the game with the people who are watching and the people who are viewing the video. And you can't... Like, I don't know what mentality a person has when they create a video game and say, okay, you can play it, but you can't play past this part. What's the fucking point of me playing it at all then? You know, like, what's the point of me sharing that at all? Like, what's the point of me, you know, dealing with, you know, I don't know, like, it's just stupid. It's, it's just people need to come down off their fucking high horse, you know, come out of their castle that they're living in, quote unquote, metaphorically speaking, um, and see you know, what's happening in the current world. You know, any video game that comes out, you know, there's going to be, you know, content ID matches, which isn't really anything at all. Uh, you know, for, as far as the music that's being played in the game and things like that, and you have people like... Like, uh... Telltale Games that are putting in non-copyrighted music or they have options where you can like remove the copyright music from the game altogether so that it's safe for you to stream and you don't have to worry about that and you know companies are taking it seems like 
other companies are starting to follow suit with that, and that which is a very helpful. But for this, I mean, when I got this notification that one of the videos got taken down, I announced it on Twitter. And some of you guys seen it, some of you may not have not. I said that, you know, I, I posted a picture of what you're seeing right now. And I just said, you know what, at, because it is Atlas, you know, I'm taking out, I'm deleting every Persona 5 video. No fucking, I'm not dealing with this shit again. Because you guys know I got a good history when it comes to dealing with companies and, and dealing with copyright strikes. I don't really talk about my negativity a lot on this channel. And because it's more than I'm willing to continuously talk about. Like, it's a lot that happens that I just don't, I really just don't speak on. But things like this, that that affects the viewers um, and things like that. And when I say affects you, meaning that you could be looking for the content that I deleted and you want to know why it's gone. Well, the Persona, as far as the Persona 5 videos go, this is it. You know, I just, just wasn't going to put myself through that again. Because I've been through this once with, um, I, I had been through this nonsense once with Sega, which is kind of like a, like their, which, which is kind of like a company that works with Atlas, um, ironically enough. And then I had this same issue with Arc System Works, and a lot, a lot of you remember that. You know, I was playing, doing video game playthroughs of, uh, the story mode to Guilty Gear Exarch and you know I, I just got hit with multiple copyright strikes like within like minutes within each other and I just had to hurry up and take all the videos down um, which and, you know which is funny now that I'm thinking about it because I have fought tooth and nail because I remember I, I had, like, the videos that were getting copyrighted. After that first copyright strike, I had taken down, like, several uh, videos. And one of the videos that I had recently taken down ended up getting me a copyright strike. Like, I don't know if it just didn't, if the system didn't recognize that the video was gone or whatever the case is, you know. But I was getting copyrighted. I was getting copyright strikes for videos that were no longer on my channel. And I kind of fought tooth and nail. I went from videos to emails to Twitter mentions to Facebook. I was on their Facebook post like nonstop. Any new post they made, I was on it ex expressing, you know, how I felt. And it was just like back to back to back mentions. And I just couldn't get to them. So I just stopped buying Arc System Works games. And it's unfortunately, it, 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 it's, it's kind of scaring me that I may have to do the same thing with Atlas if they keep up this practice of. Uh, you know, they don't want people to play their games past a certain point. It's just, it defeats the purpose of me playing it at all. You know, if I can't show the whole game, then why the hell would I even want to show, a, like, you know, like a piece of it? You know, that don't make it, like, that doesn't make sense to me. But, whatever. But, I sent them emails, like, days ago. They haven't responded. You know, I mean, I'm a fair person. I'm pretty sure they're a big company. They're busy dealing with this, that, and the third, you know, I'm just waiting to hear a response from them, mind you, this is, this is going to be expired, you know, within a short period of time, normally, these normally get expired, originally, last time I dealt with these, they, they got expired within like a year, or like six months or something, and, you know, does this seem like they shorten that time, that's not far, that's like, what, it's June, July, August, September, that's like three months. So it seemed like they cut it down by half of what it originally was. But, uh, you know, I'm just, you know, not dealing with that nonsense anymore. So I, I didn't already boycotted Arc System Works. I'm, I'm, I'm not buying another Arc System Works game because I never know when I'm going to have to deal with that again. If, if, if they, you know, if I got in trouble for playing the game once, are playing the game once already like why would I bother with buying another game because I might just get in trouble again like they might be you know not to sound paranoid but if I have a history of having their videos you know getting copyright strike off of their videos my channel may be like 
I guess you could say, listed as one of the ones to look out for. Because I know some companies do that. So, so I'm not taking that risk with another game. They, they won't be getting my money. That's for damn sure. I'm not, I, I'm not dealing with that. So fuck them. And I, I just hope Atlas isn't going down that same road to where I have to feel that way about them. So hopefully they can be professional enough to make something happen uh, to where we won't have that that problem. Um, or rather, when they make another video game, they can assure people that they're not going to put any limitations on it like this. You know, I'm just, uh, you know, I'm just trying to maintain my composure because, like, this is a very upsetting situation. Like, I, I, I invested time into Persona 5, you know, showing people, you know, like, that game had, that game was almost up to like 100 parts, 100 videos, you know, and some of those videos are like hours long, so, again, I apologize, I had to take it down, because ain't no telling what other Persona 5 video they, they would have, you know, issued out uh, a copyright takedown notice for, uh, like, I just couldn't take that, sh that risk, you know, if there's any more Persona 5 videos on YouTube, I mean, hey, you guys go watch those, but, I just don't know, you know, because after this expires, I'm definitely deleting this. So I, not the channel, but the video, you know, because it's not viewable, but it's still up on YouTube. It's just not viewable, you know, because you, all you're gonna see is that oh, this video was is not viewable because of this copyright takedown notice. It's just, you know, it's one of those aggravating situations. Cause this is like the third time I had to deal with this, and it's like, you know. I'm trying to turn this into a very uh, profitable hobby. You know, I'm trying to turn this YouTube channel into something that I can make a living off of. And it's difficult to do that when you keep getting copyright notices and things like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's just companies being overzealous. It's not necessarily your fault. It's just companies being overzealous and being outdated in the way that they handle things and not caring about the little guy, you know what I'm saying? They care enough for you to want you, but they care, they care enough for them to want you to buy their game, but you can't play it and you can't share that experience with everyone else, which is what today's gaming world is, you know, but they don't know that because they don't get their head out their ass to come out and see that this is what, this is how the world is changing. But you know, I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. Like, my head is, you know, it, it, it's whatever, you know. Like I said, hopefully this is the last I have to deal with anything like this. I got rid of all the Persona 5 videos, so I don't have to worry about any additional copyright takedown notices from them in regards to Persona 5. So I'm not worried about that. Hopefully they respond and get rid of this sooner before the expiration date. But if it does, oh well. You know, it's only three months. I'm not worried because I'm used to these um, copyright strikes lasting longer. So that three months doesn't seem long to me. Um, normally, these things last like a year. Originally, these things were lasting like a year. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I'm not feeling no type of way about it. It's just just them being stupid. Hopefully, they can... They can update themselves to where we don't have to worry about this anymore. And that's for that's everybody, whoever got hit with a copyright strike from Atlas over Persona 5. But, oh, man. So that's everything. It, it's been a handful. Again, the GoFundMe is still live. Um, please, the link to it is in the description. Please donate what you can so that I can get the equipment that is needed. You know, to get a microphone that actually isn't Picking up all this buzz, and you can hear my voice clear, uh, more clearly. And um, you know, I can continue to do vlogs and things like that. Record gameplay videos at a consistent rate, where I don't have to worry about the issues that I'm dealing with now. Because uh, man, it's a hassle. You know, I, like I need you guys' help. I, I really fucking do. 
hopefully we can get this uh, underway. So that's everything, and as hectic as it is, I'm dealing with it. Um, I'm I'm going to end this this uh this two week then a a channel update uh pattern that I've been having because like I just like I said I've been getting caught up in everything else that it's, it seemed like I end up doing a channel update once every two weeks when it should be once a week because uh, I want to keep you guys updated that frequently but um yeah it's a hassle man so thank you for listening um again GoFundMe is up uh, I will be playing Shadow of Mordor soon so keep your eye out for that and when Dead by Daylight gets here we're definitely going to be taking a look at that and I'm going to live stream that with my uh, with my PS camera so you guys can see you know, my facial expressions I don't show my face enough but that was, that's going to be like the start of me using that PS camera to do live streams and things like that so Thank you guys for watching. Peace. And, um, oh, and I almost, almost forgot to mention, I, I, I try using like the OBS Studio, and that's another program that my laptop can't handle. Like the encoder gets overloaded. I tried various settings. It, it's just not good enough. So definitely need a new laptop. So please donate so we can, just so that I can get that, uh, that, that a gaming laptop that can handle all these programs. But again, thank you guys. Peace, and uh, see you guys for gameplay.